you already know what time it is. That is right. It is year list time. Today, it's up a bit. We ain't doing city jerseys. We are doing the Nike NBA Classic Edition jerseys. Now, at the time of this recording, Year of Our Lord 2024, this is what's here. Um, if you're watching this after the 2023-2024 NBA season, there's definitely going to be one or two here that I miss because at the time of this recording, they're non-existent. They're not announced because this is just all that's here. So, uh, full disclaimer, some of these jerseys, I, I, I'm missing a few jerseys only because they're just basically copycats of other jerseys, just different colors. So like Charlotte, uh, Miami, the Warriors especially. I think that's it. Oh, and uh, Indiana. They're just copycat jerseys. Same design, just different color. Uh, now they don't do classic jerseys every year. Unless you're the freaking Golden State Warriors, apparently. Uh, yeah, they don't do them every year. Unlike the city jerseys or the icon jerseys or whatever. It's just, you get them when you get them. I guess you gotta apply to, to have them. I don't know how that works, but it's usually banger jerseys. Uh, this might be the first tier list where we don't have any F tier. I won't speak too soon. Just saying it might be that way. We'll see. Let's get into it. We're gonna start with a Utah Jazz jersey. Uh, let's go with this one. This is probably the oldest one they have on here, the Utah Jazz. I'm feeling B tier. Not bad jersey. I think this was the first incorporation of the quarter note as the as the J, which I, I feel I'm sure back then they were losing their freaking minds when they saw that. Like, yo, this is actually insane. No way they did that. But yeah, that's got the uh Pistol Pete jersey going on here. Looking real nice. Um take a plan with that. It's a good jersey. B tier. Atlanta Hawks. I can go A with this one. This is, looks similar to what they have now, because they just kind of went throwback with the current jerseys. It's a good jersey, can't lie. It's it's simple, but works. Yeah, definitely definitely A tier worthy, I think. Kings, I think it's another A tier. The curse of kings on here looks really nice. The colors work here, the blue, red, and white. Of course, other blue, red, and white jerseys they've done recently are like a, a powder blue. It does sort of work. These, these I like. I think these are their, uh, was their Rochester days? I don't know, it's maybe when they first hit Sacramento. Don't know. It's a good jersey. I like the, uh, crown there to dot the eye. Great, uh, great idea for the time being, I believe. But, uh, yeah, it's a good jersey. It's very similar to what they have now. The, the Curse of Kings. Um, I think I noticed a lot of jerseys nowadays are very, very reminiscent of older jerseys. Kind of going back, throwback to that. Uh, we're gonna go Lakers. Let's go with the Minneapolis Lakers. Uh, I think it's a B tier. Nothing wrong with it. Very simple. MPLS Minneapolis. Uh, before they went to Los Angeles is where they were. Uh, if you if you remember those old 2K videos before Lonzo Ball got drafted, everyone would have them on the Lakers and they would have them wear this jersey because it looks similar to UCLA jerseys. They're the same picture. Are you sure about that? Gosh, I remember everyone was doing these Lonzo Ball jerseys on uh, Lonzo Ball videos on 2K, and they'd have them just by default wearing this, which it works. Can't complain. Uh, it's a good jersey. Cleveland Cavaliers? Um, I'll go beat you for now. I, I I can't see it being any higher than that. Yeah, I mean, it's not a terrible jersey. It's not the best, but it's not bad. That's about as much as I can say about it. It's decent. Go with our first Warriors jersey. Start off with this one. Uh, I, I, I would imagine the first iteration of like their circular logo. Which after this, they just went full circular with, with their logos and jerseys and all. And all which, I mean, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But uh, B tier, I think. Uh, I like the California logo on there the, with the star signifying where they are. There are better ones, so I put it at B. It's, it's, a, good, it's a good jersey. Decent. Um, the other iterations of this are, I think, yellow and blue. I know for sure yellow. I think they have a blue one of this. No. It looks better. Can't even lie. The blue version of this looks better, but just kind of want to put the white one there. Next, we go with the sun. Phoenix Suns. This, uh, gotta go see. It's, it's a basic kind of boring jersey. 
say what you want about some of they've had in the future. This is probably the one of their. I think I I don't think they've had a bad jersey outside of the sleeved ones. This would be if you had to have a worse one. This is probably the worst. I mean, I know it's an older older jersey. Back in like the Larry Nance days, Larry Nance Senior, that is not Junior. Back in the Larry Nance days of Phoenix Suns, this is kind of what they had. I guess for the time being, it worked, but nowadays, I mean, it's okay. Nothing, nothing too spectacular. Orlando Magic. Oh, this one, I love. I think this is an S tier jersey. I freaking love this one. It's like the uh, the Shaq days, Penny Hardaway days. Um, this is such a, an amazing jersey. I actually have this jersey. It's so good. Like I just love, I love the pen stripes, the the font. It's amazing. The the use of the star for the A. I mean, this is the this is this is such a classic jersey. It's a good jersey, like the Shaq era Magic jerseys. Oh my gosh! You could even put the black one over this if you wanted to. But this is such a great jersey. I love this. I'm glad I have this one. Going to the Miami Heat. That's an A tier. It's good. It's kind of where they started with the, the little flame at the end of the T. They do that now. But these are good for what they are. I like the little stripe on the side. Just having one side, I think it looks is, is, is a cool choice. Uh, the font on the number with the, I guess, a shadow. I don't know what you call it. I think that works. I think the colors work. They have another one of this, but white that they wore. This is a really good jersey. I like it a lot. Uh, Milwaukee Bucks. Going go with the Oscar Robertson jerseys. I think it's a B tier. It's plain. I like the uh, the colors. Uh, red, green, white. I think that really works here. There's not really much you can say about it. It's, it's, it's basic, but I think it's, it's still a decent looking jersey. Portland Trailblazers. Ah, I gotta go A. These are, I mean, there's a, there's a bit going on here. Um, these are the Bill Walton jerseys. They look really nice. Once again, you got the one side having that stri the stripes there, that trimming. It works. I think the, bl the, like, the, the blazers going down. Wouldn't be my first choice, uh, but it's not terrible. It's, it's not bad. The font of it, though, is very 70s, I think, and I think that really works there. Charlotte Hornets. Ooh, I, I gotta go S tier, man. This is a classic. This is the ones from this season, 2024. So they had one. They had these when they when Nike first took over the jerseys, I believe, back in 2017. They had these classic jerseys slightly different than what what it is very similar very very similar but just slightly different we are same 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 but different but still same for example like for example the pinstripes on the other ones are just solid lines these are like double lines if that makes sense uh as well as the, the trim on the like the collar and the arm holes uh very that's where it's different but other than that, it's very similar for these though they have these in purple and white, but I like that uh, the teal-ish light blue color. It looks really nice. It's a classic. Muxy Bugs jerseys. Can't go wrong. Dallas Mavericks. I feel an A tier. I almost want to go S, but I feel like it's not S tier is like next level, but this is a good jersey. I wish the Mavericks would use green more. I know I've said it uh, before. Golly, they could do so much with green. I like these 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 jerseys. I love them. I love my favorite color is green, so I guess a little bias there. These green jerseys are really nice. Um, these are back when they had the uh, M logo with the cowboy hat, which they should bring back because that looks sick. But uh, I have this sh as a shirt for Luca because I freaking like Luca. Yeah, this is a, this is a good jersey. I, I, I can't hate on it. Not that I would want to. Knicks, I gotta go C. Another kind of boring jersey, but this is, I believe, when the NBA had first started. So this is kind of what they had at their disposal. You know, NBA started. They probably didn't have much money. They're just like, uh, you know, creativity ain't, ain't the number one priority right now. So we got to go just basic New York on there. Just basic colors. You know, I mean, I'm not going to fault them for it. It's not a bad jersey. It's just nothing nothing exciting, especially compared to everything else we have. Los Angeles Clippers, Buffalo Braves jersey. I'm sorry. I, I think we do have an F tier here. This is just not a good jersey. It's just not a good jersey. I don't know what to tell you. It's it's very different from the Clippers. Um, it's nothing exciting. The colors are very boring. Just the jersey is not, again, not very exciting. I don't really have much going for it. Especially, it's even worse when you see him like on the players. You know, a lot of times when you when you when you're questioning how good a jersey is, it's like oh, I gotta see it on on court. I gotta see them like the players wearing it, and it's better that way. Not here. It's even worse that way. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta go. Probably our only F tier on here. Uh, Nets, I think it's an A tier. It's a classic, dude. These are the 
Dr. J jerseys. God, anytime I see this jersey, I expect a dude with an afro, like a like a big afro. I love these jerseys. These are really nice. I kind of want one now. <laughs> I don't have one, but I kind of want one. We're going to go Rockets. Uh, I know I hate the. I know I really despise the Rockets, but uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be biased at all. We use an A tier. Actually, I go C. Sorry. Yeah, I. I know these are based on the like Denver Rockets or whatever Rockets were there. Uh, this this is like pre Houston Rockets, where the San, the San Diego Rockets is based on that. And I'm I'm usually a sucker for anything green and yellow as a mixture, but it's very much more yellow than green, which is not the best looking color. Uh, I don't know. Not the, like the biggest fan of it. It's not terrible, but it's not great. We're going to back to the Jazz. I think we can go... These, uh, these are an A-tier jersey. Back in the uh, Karl Malone days. So, like, these are some nice Karl Malone era jerseys. We don't really talk about that guy. He kind of sucks, but uh, yeah, it's not a bad jersey. This one is very close to like a modern logo. They they did uh, bring this logo back. They, went, they did this and they did a different logo. And then they went back to the uh, quarter note J. It was like, hey. Old as gold, baby. If it ain't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, but this time they, they incorporated basketball into it, which is even like more next level genius. Because you're combining three three big things. You're combining the J, quarter note for music, and then the basketball. It is like the trifecta of logos. Should have gotten rid of it. I mean, they still kind of have it, but it's not like in their main logo. It was another Warriors one. I gotta get these, get these out of the way. San Francisco. These San Francisco Warriors jerseys. I can go another B tier. This is, this is what... Wilt Chamberlain dropped 100 points in. Not bad. Not bad. I like the uh, diversity of color here. You'll never hear me say again it is uh, out of context. Like, out of the context of a jersey. He's incorporating all the, the various colors of their logo here, which works. I think this is when they first moved back to San Francisco after after uh, moving from Oakland. They, they brought these jerseys back. Decent jersey. Nothing wrong with it. Toronto Raptors. You already know S tier. This this is probably perfect. I think it's a perfect jersey. I mean, you get that classic look with the Raptor playing basketball, of course. Got that sick Raptors font. The purple one. If they use purple instead, that would be like S plus. The purple one is even better than this. But they went with the white. I'm sure they planned on doing purple. Don't know why they they wouldn't. This is an S tier if I've ever seen one. Memphis Grizzlies. These Pal Gasol era black jerseys. I think it's a B tier. Oh, I like the colors. I think they could do more with the the Memphis there, but uh, the colors uh, and design really, really look nice. What I was just saying, this is I believe did they wear these when they first went to Memphis? Are they moving from Canada? Are they moving from Vancouver? I don't know. This is back when they played in the uh, Memphis uh, Pyramid, where there is currently a Bass Pro Shops. Believe it or not, they used to play there. Fun fact. I like it in the spot. It's, uh, it's, not a bad choice. Lakers white jersey. Uh, hmm. S I think C tier is where it belongs. Yeah, it's another kind of goes along with the boring area. I think the colors are nice. Same as the uh, the Minneapolis blue and yellow. Those colors. This, it just says Lakers. Nothing much going for it. It's a bo it's boring, but it's not bad. So I like where it is. Brooklyn Nets. Uh, New Jersey Nets. I guess. <laughs> Jersey. Oh my gosh. I think this is an S tier. I really like this jersey. It's definitely got a very like 90s look to it. I don't even know if it's 90s, but it's got a 90s look to it. Looks really nice. The logo for the Nets looks nice. They did use this in their city jerseys from 2022, I want to say. 2021? I don't know. But they did use this logo in the city jersey, but the, the, God, the jersey design is so... Jersey design is so nice. Underrated jersey, I think. The Warriors one, because uh, <laughs> they seem to not have enough of these classic jerseys. Believe it or not, this is more than what what I'm showing you. They have more of that. All these warriors I'm showing you is there's more of it. It's just different colors of it. I had to cut down. Uh, I think this is an A tier jersey. I like the warriors kind of growing across. To change the pace from their circular logo that they have, uh, also from their like older older logos, like the San Francisco ones. Um, I really like this logo it's really nice uh, i know they had some recent I, I say recently i think 2017 they had one similar to this but like with their current logo uh at the time they had this and i, and I really like that one so you know I got, i'm gonna like this one I've, i haven't seen a timberwolves one yet let's go timberwolves this is the ones from this current season uh kind of around these are kind of around when kg first started i i, I yeah i'll go b tier 
B tiers, B tiers, I think, is where it belongs. Um, it's not boring, which is great. I like the how how the wolves goes. I like it at a. I like the wolves wording kind of goes an arch, but it's not like a boring arch like some of these are. Uh, the colors are great. The blue and blue and green, amazing. I love when they use that green. <laughs> uh, I kind of wish they'd used it more. Before they changed their logo, before they got that new logo before the Nike jerseys, like back in like the Ricky Rubio days, I wish they would have used green more than they didn't. They didn't utilize it. Guys, the more they use the green, the better I feel. <laughs> another Warriors one. <laughs> the freaking Warriors one. Um, I think it's another B tier. Uh, you know what? A tier. I like this one. I like the using a lot of red in this one, which I like. Um, I do. I, I know I talk about how there's need a lot, need some white in it. They shouldn't do too much. This is a great amount of white. Gonna make those other colors pop. Uh, so the blue with a just enough yellow on here, where it's there, but it's not too much yellow. Um, and that shading or the the shadow there on the numbers, really nice. Great jersey. Our last Orlando Magic one. I gotta put it in S tier. These are such a classic. These like Tracy McGrady jerseys. Like I know, I know they sold a lot of like oh like a lot of throwback jerseys of this before. Nike, I think some Mitchell and Nash jerseys. Everyone had these. Oh my gosh, everyone has these. But then they decided to make Nike ones for the for them to currently wear. Oh, so good. I actually had this one as well. Really nice jersey. Indiana Pacers. I go B tier with this. I know a lot of these get a lot of hate. They have these, by the way, they have these in uh, this dark red color and white. But uh, I know these get a lot of hate. People think they're just ugly. But you gotta understand the history of it, dude. These are from Hoosiers. The movie Hoosier is about, you know, Indiana basketball. Great movie, classic movie. And they decided to bring them into the NBA. It was a pretty cool idea. If only the uh, Lakers or Clippers would have Los Angeles Knights jerseys from like Mike, that'd be great. But I'm not going to get into that. 76ers. Uh, I, I want to say C tier. Now, this is kind of boring tier. But this is just nothing nothing special. It's definitely an old jersey. Some, some dude back in like the 1970s was like, yo... We're cooking with this one. This one, this, this is the move here. Um, but I think translating it to modern day just doesn't really work. You know, there's two things I'll, I'll put in C tier. Either boring jerseys or jerseys that just don't really age too well. Like, I don't know, this just doesn't really age well. It's going to definitely be stuck in the 70s. Boston Celtics, I'll go... Honestly, I like these at A tier. Call me crazy, it's, it's not super exciting, but I like it. I like the... Oldies feel. These, I think, age well. Very, very oldies feel. Um, the Celtics have always had just the same jersey for all time. Other than this one, like when Bill Russell played, the Bill Russell jerseys they had, they still wear today. It's crazy to think about. They haven't changed. But I mean, again, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, this is slightly different. Slightly different enough to put it A. <laughs> I like where it is. It's a nice jersey. Warriors, once again. I love these jerseys. Either this is the blue one I really like most. Um... These have always been my favorite Warriors jerseys ever. I don't. I just love the city, the the Golden Gate Bridge. I know they have that as their logo now, but yeah, something about this one just really works. Uh, back when the uh, Warriors were peak, back in like 2015 through 2017, they would uh, when they had these, like they wore these then. They were one of my favorite jerseys ever, and I think they still are. Back then, they looked they looked a lot better than <laughs> then. I still like them. That's S tier, I think. You know, my opinion. I love these jerseys. I would never. Own it because it's not a Warriors jersey that I Warriors player that I would want it on a jersey, but I would own this if I wanted to. Washington Wizards, uh, the B tier. I th I'm, I'm hot take. I think these are overrated. I honestly think these blue and gold jerseys for the uh, Wizards overrated. No hate. It's a it's a decent jersey. I think I think it's overrated. These are like the Gilbert Arenas, Michael Jordan for two years jersey. Okay, Jersey. Nothing. Nothing. I'm loving. Uh, I'm in love with season. I think if they brought, if they had like the Washington Bulls jerseys, it may be, it may be a little higher. But I like where it is now. Los Angeles Lakers. Ooh, ah, these are A tier. These are the uh, like the Jerry West era jerseys that are really, really fire. I like the the colors really work. I love the uh, cursive Los Angeles. It looks really nice. Um, those. Are, for those of you who are aware of like the Crenshaw jerseys that look like this, obviously this is what it's based off of. Houston Rockets, I got, I'm going A with this one. This is without a doubt an A tier jersey. I mean, freaking Hakeem Olajuwon era jerseys here. Look, they're they're fire. You know, as a Houston Rockets hater, I can admit these are these are these are solid, classic fire jersey. Really nice. Atlanta Hawks, 
I gotta go C tier. This is what's, these are kind of like the sixes ones. Not that it's boring, it just doesn't age that well. Like back in the uh, the Bob Pettit days, um, I don't know. The blue just doesn't really. The blue along with like the other colors, like the red and the black, just don't really fit well today. I'm sure back then it was fire, and I'm sure at some point when it kind of became a classic, it was fire. But just nowadays, I don't know. It just doesn't work for me. Pistons, like the Grand Heel era jersey with the teal. It's tier. Without a doubt, these are fire. That's one of the greatest logos in NBA history. It's it's incredible. You can. One of the greatest logos in NBA history. Don't know why they would change it. This is great. It's a great jersey. Utah Jazz jersey. S. One of the greatest jerseys ever made. This is a fire jersey. Oh my gosh. Back when the with the prime Stockton prime mailman days. I mean, this is incredible jersey. This is great. The mountains, the jazz logo, the font of the number. This hit on all cylinders. This is no, this did nothing wrong. <laughs> Phenomenal jersey. Definitely deserving an S tier. Warriors, uh, we believe jerseys. Now, I almost forgot to put this on here. Because the, the website I went to to find these pictures didn't have this as a classic jersey. But they only wore these once. Only wore these once. And this was when they played their last game in Oracle Arena before moving back to San Francisco. They wore these for the last game. It was a big deal. No one expected it. But it was a cool surprise. Um, yeah, we believe jersey. Again, they only wore this once. So it... Took a while to find a picture of just the jersey. It's an A-tier jersey. I know a lot, of people, not a lot of people want these back. They did use the look of it. Like the blue home or away jersey of this version of this. For the City Editions one year. But it said Oakland. Good jersey. San Antonio Spurs. Uh, George Gervin era jerseys. S-tier. I have this jersey. And the shirt. Phenomenal. I love this jersey. Spurs don't do many like classic jerseys. They don't go out of the way for, for, for a lot of jerseys. This one they did celebrate their 50, 50th anniversary season, whatever. Um, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal jersey. I love it. It's so nice. It's it, it doesn't do anything wrong. It's just black and white. It's it's a, it's a perfect jersey in my opinion. There, I said it. Minnesota Timberwolves. I gotta go. S tier. Freaking Derrick Rose dropped 50 in this jersey. This is another uh, KG era jersey, like prime KG. Well. Before, right before his prime. His prime was like Celtics, but he bought out in these. That's when they introduced his when he played. The he bought out in these. I love the black uh, with the trim on the like the the collar and then the arms, the armholes, whatever you'd want to call those, with the trees and the it, it's it's a slight bit of green, a slight bit of green, but it's still there and it still works. Uh, and the fonts is, is is classic. It's so good. This Bucks purple jersey. I'm gonna go A. Uh, you can make an argument for S, and I will hear you out. By all means, if this was the like the Ray Allen, I mean, it is technically a Ray Allen era jersey, but if it was, if it was a Ray Allen one with like the buck, the actual buck on it, it's with S tier without a doubt. But this is, uh, I like this as uh, at a, the solid jersey. The purple and green really work together. Really nice. Another S here, S tier right here. Vancouver Grizzlies jersey, another teal color jersey. That just ah works. Back when the Grizzlies had, it's just such an intimidating logo. It really leaned into the, the woodsy grizzly bear vibe feel um, with the logo. And the jersey complements the logo perfectly. This is a great jersey. S tier for sure. Last but certainly not least, one of the greatest jerseys of all time. S tier without a doubt. The Phoenix Suns Charles Barkley era jerseys. You could, you could say it's Steve Nash era jersey, but definitely Charles Barkley. Golly, such a that, like 90s look to it. With the the sun's the sun's logo with the basketball and the sun going, ah, I mean, I'm at a loss for words. I'm stumbling on my words. The logo is a classic. The jersey is very classic. Can't get wrong with it. It's I think it's up there with perfect jerseys. This is my final list. Uh, move some stuff down. A Celtics jersey, I feel... I don't feel so strongly about A as I did before. You know, I don't truly feel that strong about it being A tier. So I moved it on to B. A Cleveland jersey, I, I really look at it more. It just hasn't aged all that well. It's kind of like the Hawks and the Sixers. It just hasn't aged that well. So I moved it on to C. Uh, moved the Al Gasol Grizzly jer uh, jersey up. Yeah, the more I look at it, the better it gets. So I like it a lot. Really nice jersey. Um, yeah, that's really where, where this these jerseys stand. S tier, these are classic jerseys that 
just just don't miss a tier great jerseys um i say they also don't miss they're just not as as good as these s tier ones b tier decent jerseys can't go wrong with them uh they'll be better but not by much they, they can't be better by much because they're they are still really good jerseys b tier is either boring jerseys or just have an age well jerseys and then f tier not a good jersey just bad <laughs> anyways let me know what you think uh where would you put these jerseys uh did i did i do something wrong did i mess up my rankings let me know in the comments below what would you what would you put in these tiers what would you move what would you change uh what would you agree with please let me know anyways thanks for watching uh hope you enjoyed